In this video, this is the sit to stand workstation setup. However, we're going to talk about your sit to stand accessory options. Here we see a gentleman with his uh, improvised bicycle on a wind trainer. And you see it has a couple of monitors. Actually, he's leaning forward. This isn't the best posture. So we want to maximize uh, the ergonomic setup where you can minimize headaches, neck pain, and back pain and fatigue during the day and energize yourself. So there's certain things you can buy or you can purchase and use to uh, increase your energy and decrease your fatigue during the day, especially if you're standing or sitting. So to take a break, you can actually sit on your chair, lean back, put your feet up on the, on the table. Uh, however, this is not going to last very long. You're not gonna get much work done in this position. So we have to be uh, realistic. And we can do that by setting up your workstation and your chair properly. Now to begin, we wanna prioritize your workspace. Ideally, you want the things that you use frequently in front of you and the things you don't use as often on the side or away from the front of your, or your body. So the things that you use frequent, frequently, you wanna keep in front of you. If you're gonna be, typing as figure 217 on the left top there, you're gonna be typing off of, uh, some type of a memo or uh, a work pad. You wanna make sure the monitor's on the left because you're gonna be reading a lot in front of you and you're typing and you want the monitor on the left just to check your work. If you're gonna be using the computer a lot and writing less frequently, you want the monitor in front of you and the keyboard in front, as you see on the second page on the right, or image on the right with the notepad side. If you're gonna be writing a lot off the computer and, and using the keyboard less frequently, uh, you want to set up as on the left bottom, okay? All right, your sitting position, as we recap from uh, part one, uh, sitting properly, we want your ear uh, to be over your shoulder. That's the proper posture and we wanna maintain that through the day. Your hip should be uh, underneath your shoulder, keeping an upright position. Your knee should be at a, about a 90 degree angle or, or parallel to your hips. And your ankle should be right underneath your, your knee. If your feet are dangling, we wanna have something to support your feet because we don't want your, your back of your thigh compressing uh, on the sciatic nerve. Keyboard and Elbow should be at an angle about 90 degrees. So this is your perfect sitting position. Again, we want a, a back support, preferably just right about your belt line, support your lumbar spine, keeping you upright. If, it, if the uh, support is too high or too low, it's gonna cause strain in different areas of your spine and can cause back pain, neck pain, and dis disfiguration. Now the perfect back support position, as you see here, uh, we see this young lady, uh, at a 90 degree angle, you see that the type of chair she's using, supporting her chair, it's most likely adjustable so that she can support her lower back. Uh, she has a neck support there to support a curve of her neck. Uh, the monitors are roughly about are with from the body and keyboard is set up properly, okay? Now some sitting options here, uh, obviously you can ride a bike, this would be the proper way to ride a bike. And while you're in the workstation, uh, you have an elevated desk, bare desk, uh, different types of desks can elevate. Um, elbows are 90 degree angle. So she's exercising actually while she's working. So that's using an elevated desk or a Vera desk. Uh, they're readily available on any type of office supply store, Amazon, um, Target, Walmart, you can get them there. Now, uh, Exercise ball, using an exercise ball uh, while sitting is a great idea. Uh, we wanna keep motion in the spine, keep your upright soft uh, padding for your buttock area. Uh, it's a great option uh, as an exercise ball. Actually, I, I, I actually uh, bought this for uh, my IT man and he, um, he used this ball for the first day. And after the first day he came in, um, the next day into my office and he said, this ball was phenomenal. He said, it, it exercised me so much I could hardly even walk in, uh, today. Uh, my legs and my back are, are, are a good sore. They had been exercised, so they were worked out. And um, 
It really helped him a lot to, to strengthen his spine. Uh, a kneeling chair is a good idea too. It helps form the posture. Um, I, I personally have used these and I, I just can't use them for a long period of time, but some people can uh, use the kneeling chair throughout the day. Now the sitting options you see here, uh, we have a nice form uh, laptop desk. They can put the laptop up and have, he's looking the side, his elbows are rested on an arm armrest. Uh, elbows are at you know, approximately 90 degree angle. Uh, great way to work, his, his neck isn't bent down, it's supported in the back, uh, great option. Uh, we have these swivel or wobble uh, chairs, they're great too. You can not only adjust them to whatever position you're sitting, but as you move around, you're actually stimulating the spine and nervous system and the brain, keeps you alert, gives you more energy, powers up your brain throughout the day. Not a bad option. A stand-up chair, as you see here, a uh, person is leaning, standing up, uh, and they're, they're actually upright, the feet a little in front of them, looks like they have a fatigue mat. So this would be a stand-up chair. Great option. This one, as you can see, has a handle behind the seat. Uh, it's adjustable and uh, can really support your spine. Great option for standing up and working at a workstation. Again, uh, just reiterate, we don't want you to sit on a wallet. Try to take the wallet and place it in the front of your pocket. Okay, use the chair, not your body to turn. We'd like you to get a swivel chair. If you're gonna turn during the day, you wanna make sure you turn uh, the chair and not your waist. Great option. Now the benefits of a standing desk is that it lowers your risk of weight gain and obesity, may lower blood sugar levels, may lower your risk of heart disease, appears to reduce back pain, helps to improve mood and energy levels, may even boost productivity, gives you better posture options, and it keeps you more alert. And you have a chance of moving around a little more. So to sit to stand posture, uh, if you remember the monitor is about uh, chin or, or nose height, about 20, 30 inches away, uh, you know, about the length of your arm. Uh, again, your ear should be over your shoulder in a proper posture position. Your hip should uh, be over your knee and your knee over the, um, the ankle on a straight line. And you want the proper uh, desk height, as you see here with your elbows at a 90 degree angle. Now, standing accessories, uh, here's the uh, stand-up desk. You see the gentleman has a, a monitor that can be moved around. Uh, great option if you can get a monitor arm. Um, this gentleman is standing on a wobble board. I'll show you that in a minute, but great option for you, stand-up desk. And they come all different sizes. Some of them are electric. You can go up and down with them and you can sit in a chair with them. One of the best options if you can afford it. An adjustable monitor arm is, uh, is a great option because you can vary the height. If you're gonna be on a desk, you can lower it. If you're gonna sitting on a desk, standing you can uh, raise it up. So monitor arm is a great option also. Now with these uh, elevated desk, Vera desk or elevated desk, uh, you can see here the gentleman on the left is sitting has fairly good uh, elbow height. Uh, I, I don't recommend that you sit that far away from uh, the desk, uh, but here you have an option to uh, either have the desk at a sitting level or you can raise it up. So it's a great option for you. Uh, they're, again, they're located in any type of office supply. Now the standing accessories, uh, I see here that there's some special monitor arm that actually attaches to your laptop. So what you would have to do with this, you would have to get maybe a Bluetooth um, uh, mouse and keyboard. This is a great option also to have. And you can see the gentleman's upright and standing up. A uh, great option for the laptop if you're using a laptop a lot. Uh, this is an anti-fatigue mat. Really good to have uh, if you're standing. Uh, these mats can reduce fatigue on your feet, and your back, and your neck, all the way up to your head. Anti fatigue mat. And with the anti-fatigue mat, you can have a little step stool if you're standing. Uh, great idea to shift your weight around. And you can see the gentleman behind his right leg is a knee. You can see that he has his sneakers. Not a bad idea to switch back and forth with shoes during the day. All right, uh, the uh, Bose ball. Um, this is a great option also. I highly recommend this if you don't lose your balance uh, because um, 
you can move around. And this again, stimulates not only your joints, but it stimulates your nervous system, especially your brain. Uh, your brain gets stimulated with movement. So if you're moving around a little bit on this type of ball, uh, you can actually increase the energy and clarity of your brain. Again, here's the wobble board, uh, a nice add uh, accessory to a stand-up desk. Or if you're sitting down, you can get up and use the uh, wobble board um, to just get some movement into your spine. Again, it stimulates your brain and, and nervous system. Uh, these are anti-fatigue mats that have uh, different uh, elements to them that you can get one with a ball that uh, you can rub your feet, try to reduce fatigue and increase uh, flexibility in your, in your feet. Uh, here's, you can do some stretching exercises on this type of anti-fatigue ball uh, mat. Um, here's a gentleman that has actually a, a treadmill. This is a manual treadmill uh, while he's working on a stand-up uh, desk. Not a bad idea. If you have any questions or concerns, you can reach us at 609-484-9300 or email us at gitoacn at gmail.com. And of course, you can visit our website at drgito.com for valuable health information.